Good morning, friends. You're watching Day Bird Aviaries, and this is Baby Bird Friday. Let's get right to it. I'm gonna start with the mystery conya. See, this is our third generation hybrid conya, and happens to be that this is the third baby from the pair. They have another baby in the nest box, but he's still quite quite a bit smaller, younger than this one. So I may leave him for you know another couple days, a week. Let him get a, a good start. Good baby. These guys are so rambunctious. They're so active. And such aggressive feeders. Hey, baby, look at that. Look at that. The first two babies that have already gone home, they are just making absolutely incredible pets. They're very well loved. They are so social and so intelligent and so smart and so wonderful. I am so very happy with these birds. I, I just couldn't be more pleased with them. I think they're absolutely wonderful. And you can see his little crop is it, just bulging. He, he loves to eat, loves to, loves to be held and cuddled. Let's uh, go ahead and feed the baby uh, lorikeets now, okay? Oh, look, our lorikeet number one. This is the scaly-breasted lorikeet. Has yellow. Yeah, they're going to be all green, but they're going to have uh, the yellow we never on had the belly. We before, have never we? had a baby scaly-breasted lorikeet oh, before. But like I said, these did not hatch here. These have come to me from a friend. And hey, baby, look at that. Messy little they are they're very messy eaters, very messy birds. If you want a lorikeet as a pet, you will have chosen one of the most active, funny little clowns ever. Messy but thing. you have to be prepared for the the mess that comes from them. They uh they eat fruit and nectar in the wild and pollen, so they have a, a mostly liquid diet. And because of the liquid diet, they uh. They're, 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 it comes out the other side as liquid also. That's the best way to say it, right, Jeremiah? Yeah. Yeah, how would you have said it? Perpetual diarrhea? What? In a way, yeah. In a way? Runny, runny mess. Yeah, and sticks to everything. Let's get the next baby out. Let's try the rainbow lorikeets. Oh, we have those. Yeah, we have rainbow lorikeets already. I like this new one. Me too. I got the whole family in here helping me this morning. I'm so yeah. happy. I still like Half this. Of it. I still like this one the best. We have mm -hmm. a big family. Is it oh, gonna stay so small? That's the um. <laughs> Sneeze the mom. No, that's my oh, mom. <laughs> it's Sneeze the mom. Who's Sneeze the mom? <laughs> Put this over. Daniela is liking the little scaly breasted Is he going to stay small? He's going to be about the same size as these others as an adult. Aww. He's just younger. Aww. He's so cute. I know. But this is the rainbow lorikeet, also known as a Swainson's lorikeet, or oh, a Blue Mountain so lorikeet, or even the Australian lorikeet. These are the ones that are predominantly found in Australia. If you talk about a wild lorikeet in Australia, most people are immediately going to to think of this bird and again they're fruit and nectar eaters these three are all available if you are in the the if you're local to us or are willing to drive to pick up the bird and you think that this is going to be a right choice for you then reach out to me uh if you can find me on facebook at daybird aviaries on facebook that's the best way to send me a message i'm also on instagram Daybird underscore aviaries. I'm on Instagram there. We're also on TikTok and Twitter. Let's see, I got one more baby. And this is a, a fairly rare species of lorikeet in agriculture, at least. This is an Edwards lorikeet. It's one of the rainbow type lorikeets. Yeah, this used be. to be listed as a subspecies of the rainbow lorikeet, but it has been upgraded and it has its own. Uh, species status now you can see that it's yellow instead of red and I, I'm very very happy to get to work with these guys let me see here got some food for you here let me get it up here there oh look. And again we're feeding the Hagen Tropican hand feeding formula 
the lorries, even though they're fruit and nectar eaters as adults, they eat the same parrot food as babies as all the other birds. Maybe just a little bit thinner, a little bit more liquidy. And this is a flexible tip that I'm using on the end of this just to get the food into their mouth. Here, are you hungry? Huh? Are you daddy's sweet baby? Here. There, there, look, we're done. We're done. Here, let me... Give him all food. No, he's done. He's all full. He's mad. Isn't that just a beautiful bird? Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it is. I like I him. Yeah, His color is a lot like the white belly kite. Oh, yeah. With the yellow yeah. on him. Yeah. Very pretty. Oh, we, need, we need a kite for Daniel. Yeah. Eventually we're going to get one for Daniel. But... Yeah. Well, friends, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Also, I'm going to leave a link to Daniela's channel. I think that she's going to try to start posting, you know, once a week, once every two weeks, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Catherine and Jeremiah, they're eventually going to start making videos on their own channels. Nah. Nah. Yes, I want to. You want to? Yes, Catherine will have her eyes. Yeah, Catherine's going to have an art channel, and Jeremiah's going to have a, just a goofy, everyday kind of game channel. Well, again, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.